The End of Feminism So the New York Post just posted an article written by a young lady. When I say young lady, I, I mean women who are under the age of 40. So don't, don't think I'm talking about 16-year-olds. A young lady, lady, of course, wrote a book, and so this was an article referring to the subject matter of the book. And the title was, Feminists Have Tried to Promise Women That They Can Have It All. Job, family, children, the whole nine yards. Although, third wave feminism is not promising family and children because they are anti-family and anti-children. But I digress. As far as the New York Post is concerned, they are trying to pander to women in general and just name brand it feminism because, because of reasons. So, the byline is so why are women so unhappy now I already did a video on this and I didn't write a book right I actually did some sort of research because I was just feeling some kind of way but here we have the New York Post posting this woman posting this writing a book writing an article you cannot be married with children and have a job and actually care about the upbringing of your children and have your children, quote unquote, love you. Why is this? Because either you are going to have your, you have enough money to have a nanny take care, take care of the children. So that your children are not completely bereft of all sort of uh, contact with humans outside of school. And then, of course, the children will grow to hate you. Uh, I have that same situation with my aunt, who's a lawyer. All of her children hate her because she went off to law school after having them. She's a very powerful lawyer. But her children hate her. Now, I dislike my parents, but that's a, that's a whole different story. That's a whole different story. Simply because my parents never treated me like a child, never, never treated me like their child. They treated me like the third adult in the house. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Uh, I had responsibilities that were above and beyond what a child should be expected to do but that but you know there was no hey but I'm a child literally I had people at the functions tell me uh don't rush to grow up so fast because literally I would talk to them as an adult would talk to another an adult because that is what was expected of me you cannot have it all you cannot have it all either the husband's going to stay home or the wife is going to stay home. Now, the husband should stay home because the wife has already taken time off from work to have the children. And if she actually cares about her children, she's going to take even more time off to make sure that the children go through the first stages of life with somebody there who actually is concerned about their well-being away from the job right so she's already taken time off so it is the man who should continue working and the wife should stay home why because you have interrupted your labor schedule to begin with and if you love your children that that interruption will be much longer and it will impact how much you will earn in the long term. If you take off four years from work, I don't care where you are, where you are, just the inflation rate alone will impact your work pay, right? When you return. You cannot have it all. You just cannot. Anybody who promises you that 
is trying to make sure that you are ignorant of real facts like inflation, like labor participation, like interruption in career. You can't interrupt your career for four years and expect to be equal to a man. And anybody who says that you should be equal to a man after you have taken off four years or maybe eight or maybe 10 or maybe 12 or even 15, they're selling you a bag of goods. Now, if you're going to just be pregnant, pop out a kid, hire a nanny, expect to be hated by the children, expect to be hated by the children and at the very best expect to not have a relationship that the mother who stays home has with her children expect it you can't have it all you shouldn't want to have it all you should want and encourage your husband to make as much money as he possibly can because that is now going to be a part of the legacy that your children will inherit so that your children will be taken care of when both of you are gone. You should be thinking about your children. You should not be thinking about you. You should be thinking about your children. If you want to listen to me, you should be thinking about your children. How can I build a better life for my children? Can I leave my children a house? Yes. Can I leave my children a car, a good car? Yes. Imagine how far ahead in life you would be if you did not have to worry about paying for a house. At all. What did I say? At all. Or a good car, having a very, very nice car, and anything else, any other inheritance that you can give to your children, where they don't have to reinvent the wheel, because that's what's going on in the peasant lifestyle. You know, everybody's encouraging you to, uh, oh, woman, you got to you gotta do for yourself. You got to stand up for yourself. You got to make equal pay. And then on the very other same hand, oh, woman, you got to, you, you smoke cigarettes. You can curse. You can go out. You can pay for your own meals. You can pay for your own shopping. You can pay, 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 pay pay all your money that you just made and worked so hard to get equal pay to men which actually you're making more than men but but we won't even, we won't talk about that because we don't want women to figure out they've been bamboozled so now the other hand is the woman is now paying all the money that she she made and, the, and then in the meantime, we're talking about, oh, yeah, you can have your job and your husband and your children, too. No, you just told me to go pay and buy everything in the in the shopping mall or now online. We can deliver it to your doorstep. You don't have to even get out of bed and you can pay all of your money. And you know what? Your entire salary is yours because the man is paying for the house note, all the bills, all the car notes, all the insurance, all of that stuff. And yours is free and clear just for you. Now please go make sure that you spend all of it here at my online store. Oh, your child doesn't have a college fund? Your child doesn't have inheritance? That's all right. Just so long as you live your life, sister, because women are the only thing you should be worried about. You shouldn't be worried about some damn boy child because boys are evil and boys are... Wait, what? That's my son. That's not somebody else's son. That's my son. We'll take care of him in the in the uh, jail, in prison. Don't worry. That evil, that evil, evil man... Wait a minute, that's my child. Uh, are, are you all... Is it slowly coming to... To light? Uh, the darkness has just been pulled over. Oh, yes. L let's have m women versus men. Uh, girl power. Uh, men are evil. All men rape and pillage women. What? As you get in your car that some guy spent 
ages trying to come up with, figure out, test, get approved. He didn't have time to rape anybody. But you, you know, oh, oh, marriage is rape. Marriage is rape? You can't promise you can have everything. Job, marriage, and children, and then turn around and say marriage is rape. Dating is rape. All men oppress women. You, you cannot do the same thing. You cannot say both things at the same time. Make up your mind what you want to tell women. And and why is it that you're saying that uh, we, we have to target women because we're unequal? How are you unequal? Yes, you're unequal. You get everything. You are a privileged class and you are the privileged gender. You have always been the privileged gender. It has been human society, at least in the... Uh, yes, humans, all humans, have always put women ahead of everything else why do you why do you think they say emergency emergency women and children first we have to protect women and children first because you are a protected class you are the protected gender anybody who says that you're unequal say yes we're unequal because men protect us what about rape what about rape? Women rape men. Men rape men. Women are still the protected class. They're still the protected gender. Well, there's a rape culture. No, there's not. Rape is less than 1% of the 1% of criminals. And criminals are categorized as one out of a hundred thousand citizens. That's how low crime is. But, you know, the news wants to sensationalize everything. Everything's drama, 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 drama. Oh, this guy robbed a bank. You know what What else happened? A hundred thousand people didn't rob a bank. A hundred thousand other people didn't rape anybody. A hundred thousand other people went from their job to their house, sat on the couch, and watched Game of Thrones. That's what a hundred thousand other people did. This guy beat his wife. You know what? A hundred thousand other men did not beat their wife. You know what they did? They sat on the couch and watched Game of Thrones. This this guy died of a, a drug overdose. You know what? A hundred thousand other men, other people didn't do that. But they don't want to tell you that. They want to talk to you about one out of a hundred thousand. These people got a divorce. And here's something that you won't hear the news tell you. I think it's like one out of 10 people get a divorce. It's not 50%. It's not 60% like they say. The way they calculate that is they take all the divorces in a year. And what happens in a year? It might be that people who divorce people get married and divorce five times in a year. You can't, you can't say that that's the rate. You would have to take at least 50% of the population that gets married, track them over the course of 50 years, and see how many of them get divorced at least once. And the people who get divorced twice, two and three and four times, they only count once. Because that is a tainted pool to begin with. That's a psychology that is not normal. The normal person doesn't get divorced and continues to get divorced. The more normal person who gets married stays married. You are literally looking at like one ten percent of the population. 
when they're talking about divorce, but they don't want to tell you that. They don't want to calculate it like that. They don't want to give you a real number. The news wants to sensationalize everything. Crime, everything. Imagine, if you will, blacks are only 10% of the population, but they report every terrible thing that some terrible black person does. Okay, so we have a minority of a minority of a minority of a segment of the population. They don't want to say a hundred thousand other black people went home and watched Housewives of Orange County, Housewives of Atlanta. They don't want to tell you that because that ruined the whole the whole plot of the thing, right? So we're talking about less than one percent of one percent of a 10% of the segment of the population. They don't want to tell you a hundred thousand other black people did absolutely nothing today. (laughs) They don't want to tell you about all the women who are married, stay home, raise their children. They don't want to tell you about that. They want to sensationalize and get you going with everything. It's time for us to wake up to really understand that what these people are talking about is not even close to a minority. It's it's the 1% of the 1% of the 1%. Thank you for watching Shikama Alive. I hope everybody just understands. They are literally trying to put pit man versus women. And women have always been a protected class. Always. You do not want to be an unprotected class. Trust me, women. And that includes black women, too. Thank you.